Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a really fun, quick updo that you can do with just two products, some elastics, and some bobby pins. I learned this updo from watching Jenny Streeby or Confessions of a Hairstylist on YouTube. If you haven't seen her channel, you have to go check her out. She is amazing. I saw this double bubble pony hairstyle and I had to try it for myself and figured I would make a video to share it with you guys as well. I've demoed the style on my mannequin Bianca and I'll post a link for the Bianca mannequin in the description box below. So if you need a mannequin to play with while you're at home, she's awesome for vibrant colors as well as styling. So make sure that you check that out. So this is the style that we're going to be creating today. Jenny named it the double bubble pony. So it's got almost like a bit of a faux hawk feel to it and then it has these cute little bubbles coming down into a ponytail at the bottom so this is a really fun look you can dress it up or dress it down and I just loved creating it so let's dive in to the video this is our starting point for today. I've prepped Bianca's hair by doing a little bit of a loose curl with a 0.75 inch curling iron, just to give us a little bit of texture to make our style a little easier. And I'm also gonna go ahead and work a little bit of Munich from Pulp Riot through her mids and ends. Munich is a serum, so that's gonna help give us a lot of shine and help control frizz as we're doing our double bubble pony. From here, I'm going to use Los Angeles, which is Pulp Riot's texture spray, just to give the hair a little bit of texture before we begin, and also give us a nice base for our style. Now that Bianca's hair is prepped and ready to begin, I'm going to start by taking a triangular section across the top of her head. So our first section is going to come to a point right about the crown of the head and we're going to comb all this back into a pony and secure it with an elastic. Before we continue down the back of the head, I want to make sure we have a little more volume. So I'm going to do another layer of our texture spray and then pinch and pull some of these pieces forward to give us a nice lift right at the front of her hair. Now I'm just going to hold on to this ponytail and gently pull these pieces forward so it's not so tight down across the top of her head. Now I'm going to blend in the elastic by taking a little piece of hair from underneath and curling this right around the elastic. Once we get to the tail, I'm going to wind it through a bobby pin and tuck it right up underneath this section. Now that our first pony is established, we're going to split this into two sections and combine this right section with some of the hair coming from the right side. So we're gonna brush all of this back, coming right about ear. And get all of that nice and smooth. And we're going to combine this with the right section of the split pony a couple inches down from this first ponytail base. Then we're going to secure that in place with an elastic as well. This is going to be where our first bubble begins. So to prep, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice spray with the Los Angeles Texture Spray. And then we're going to pull out this section to give it that really cool bubbled effect. So we're pulling this just from that center pony section, leaving our side smooth and over. 
Then we're going to blend in this elastic the same way that we did with the top ponytail by taking a piece of hair from underneath and covering the elastic, then securing it in place with another bobby pin. And we're gonna tuck that bobby pin right up and underneath that section. So now we're gonna repeat on this side, taking the hair from the ear back and combining it with our left side of our original ponytail. We're gonna do the same thing by securing it with an elastic and then texturing out that bubble. So we'll give it a good spray with our Los Angeles. And then pulling up that center bubble part and fanning it out a little so they're nice and full. Then go ahead and blend in your elastic by taking a piece of hair from underneath and wrapping around that elastic section and then securing it underneath with a bobby pin. Now we're gonna do the same thing coming back over to this side taking another section of hair and combining it in with this ponytail on the right side. We're gonna bring our elastic down a little bit so we have room for another bubble. We're gonna give this a nice spray with our Los Angeles Texture Spray and fan out this part of the style so you give us another bubble. Then come back and blend in that elastic with a piece of hair from underneath and tuck it underneath this ponytail just like we've been doing. Now repeat on this other side, combining some of the left section in with this left pony. To finish the style off, we're going to bring it back down into one pony. So go down another couple of inches and add another elastic. Then add your texture spray and fan out this section to create another bubble at the end. And take one more section of hair to wrap around this elastic. Now for the ends, you can leave them as is, or if you want it to be a little more edgy, I like to add some texture spray on the ends and give it a good tease just so that it looks a little messier. The final step that I like to do to finish off the style is to take some hair pins and connect these bubbles so it's a little more symmetrical down the back of the head. I also like to take hairpins on the side and combine these sections if I see them starting to split at all. All right, and there you have it guys. Here's our finished look. If you guys try this on mannequins or on clients, definitely make sure you tag me so I can see what you create. And have fun playing around with this style. It's a lot of fun, it's a little bit funky, and I just think it's such a cool look that you can dress up or dress down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Check out the link in the description box if you want a Bianca to play with at home, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!